Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips via the Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. Thank you. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner in the description of this video, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Dinar community. Created by a Denarian, for Denarians, to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets, including the Iraqi Dinar, Vietnamese Dong, Iranian Rattle and of course Gold and Silver my favorites, and many more. When you decide you want to unleash the full power of the planner, they use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded version 8 mobile application added free for my subscribers for a limited time. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. Go check them both out today and download your trial copy. I assure you, once you see the planner in action, you will know why it is the number one planner in Dinarland. Lock in your copy today, the link is in the description. I also recommend that you register as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program designed to save gold in your choice from a gram up to any amount you would like. They mount each fully certified gram of gold on a credit card style placard for easy storage and send it directly to your door via FedEx. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone, one gram at a time. It is free to register and get yourself all set up for both pre and post exchange gold saving. Both the links to the newly upgraded currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. Always remember, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful. First article of interest for today. Serious questions on the appreciation of Iraqi dinar. The Iraqi Economists Network, IEN, has just published a new report from our expert blogger Dr. Amer K. Hermes. Mudram Salah's testimony Ari, the appreciation of Iraqi dinar in 2006 8, raises serious questions. The purpose of this note is to shed light and comment on two views expressed recently in relation to the appreciation of the Iraq dinar. IQD, in 2006 to 2008. Muhammad Tafiq Alawi, henceforth M. Alawi, former Minister of Communications in Iraq, gave a talk on December 13, 2019, in Washington, D.C., to an Iraqi audience, in which he mentioned the appreciation of the Iraqi Adenar, IQD, during 2006 to 2008 as an example of lack of economic planning in Iraq. Mutter Mohammed Saleh, henceforth M. Saleh, former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, and currently finance advisor to the outgoing Prime Minister, responded the following day, in an article published at the Iraqi Economist's Net. This note focuses on two observations, set out below. Firstly, that the independence of the CBI was compromised in negotiating and signing a standby agreement with the IMF in late 2005. Secondly, by following the IMF program in Iraq, the CBI's administration focused its attention on limited instruments of monetary policy as dictated by the IMF, and much less on contributing to national economic growth and leveraging badly needed major structural changes in the economy. I have put the link to the full report in the description of this video. Next article of interest. The Republic's deadline expires, and the street awaits the coming hours. Will Barham Saleh be commissioned? The Iraqi street is very much looking forward to the coming hours of today, Saturday, after the expiry of the deadline granted by the President of the Republic Barham Saleh to the political forces, on agreeing to a non-controversial candidate or he will assign a figure to which the people and political forces will be satisfied according to his estimates. Since this morning, social media sites have been filled with tweets and debts that address the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, by assigning a personality away from the sizes of political forces and parties, serving the demands of the protesters, 
holding the demonstrators accountable, and preparing to provide a suitable atmosphere for the early elections. While observers ruled out that the President of the Republic would implement his holiday and assign a figure today, considering that the deadline given by the President of the Republic was a pressure card on political blocs only, and there is no constitutional text that guarantees the President of the Republic the unilateral decision, but a source said to, yes Iraq, it was finally agreed to assign Mohammed Tafiq Alawi in the coming hours. Next article of interest, Tariq Harb, the President will use his powers, and Monday is the deadline for submitting the candidate. Legal expert Tariq Harb confirmed that the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, would exercise his constitutional powers and assign a figure to form a government if the blocs did not commit to present a candidate, by the end of the deadline tomorrow, Saturday. Harb called on the parliamentary blocs to abide by the warning and warning, and to nominate a person for the post of Prime Minister under the conditions specified by the Iraqi street and the Constitution, approved by the majority of the demonstrators, blocs and the President, and not a personality accepted by one party without the other parties. He explained in a press statement, Otherwise, the president will take over determining the candidate and assigning him no later than next Monday, and he will vote for him in parliament, because 176 deputies left the matter to the president of the republic and the blocs that are currently negotiating cannot stand before others, options because there are few who support them in parliament, so that you cannot refuse the candidate for prime minister who is appointed by the president the republic. The legal expert warned. The government's arbitrary action will lead to the transfer of the Iraqi file to international sanctions, as noted by the statement of the 16 states on the Iraqi situation and the statement of the UN representative. He explained, There is something in the Constitution that supports the President of the Republic in his decision, because the constitutional Article 76 on the largest number of parliamentary blocs is applied in the case of candidacy after the elections and now the matter is different. It is not for the blocs that define the Prime Minister and submit it to Parliament for a vote. Next article of interest. Deputy. Parliament has not received any bill from the government for four months. On Saturday, Nada Shaker Jadat, a deputy for the Victory Coalition, confirmed that Parliament is ready to convene at any moment when the next Prime Minister is appointed indicating that the government has not sent any law to the House of Representatives for four months. Jadat said in a statement to the information that most of the laws in the House of Representatives were passed, with the exception of some of them that were postponed due to the existence of deep differences between the blocs. She added that Parliament is ready to convene at any moment, whether in the legislative holiday or before it, in order to vote and discuss the next government. Jadad added, because of its resignation, the government has not been able to send any law for four months despite the importance of the laws, especially the draft 2020 budget. Next article of interest. PayPal exec says Federal Reserve System needs fundamental change. The House Financial Services Committee held a hearing on Thursday to discuss the rise of fintech and its impact on cash. The committee's task force on financial technology led by ranking member Tom Emmer, focused on how consumers are making payments in the 21st century and how the digital economy can engage underbanked customers. Rep. Emmer, who has called upon his fellow lawmakers in the past to take more of a pro-crypto stance to improve financial services, began by highlighting the importance of exploring a digital U.S. dollar. I'd also like to acknowledge the former ranking member French Hill for his efforts in this space. Rep. Hill wrote a letter to the Federal Reserve supporting further research into the concept of a digital dollar. This concept could both speed up transactions and provide convenience for consumers. But it can also extend access to those previously excluded and help bring more people into our increasingly digital world. Leaders from PayPal, the New Economy Project, the Brookings Institute, Consumer Reports and the U.S. Faster Payments Council were called to give testimony, commenting on cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, XRP, 
Monero and Zcash, as well as customer authentication and digital payments, among other topics. Usman Ahmed, head of global public policy at PayPal, says that the banking system is due for a revamp. I would just note that for the core banking architecture, I think there would probably be some changes needed in terms of the Federal Reserve System. But for smaller valuation or smaller amount payments, I think you already are seeing some blockchain-based systems that enable the movement of money. I think there are examples out there. We talked about XRP or others that kind of offer this. Ahmed also says the cryptography aspect of cryptocurrencies is being leveraged to create solutions that reduce the number of actors with access to sensitive financial information. But Christina Tetro, Senior Policy Counsel at Consumer Reports, argues that the promise of cryptocurrencies has already been lost. We have looked at cryptocurrency. I made remarks almost six or seven years ago that the original promise of cryptocurrency was returning power to consumers. And what in fact has happened in the intervening years is that what we've seen is an infrastructure that's built up, that's largely acting as an intermediary, that consumers are not truly empowered to be their own bank. And that these intermediaries are often under-regulated, under-supervised, that there aren't clear rules of the road. And so the promise of cryptocurrency, in many ways, has been lost. There are any number of needs, not the least of which is to fold them into payments law in a more rational way and a rationalized payments law overall. Such a folding, however, hints at efforts to fit innovative technologies into old legal frameworks, perhaps overlooking the need to create an entirely new approach to governance. Emmer countered Tetro by parsing the definition of rational and distilling how a subjective term can be turned into a basis for establishing facts and providing consumer protections, harming innovation, says Emmer. As defined by you or someone else what is rational, seriously, it's your definition of what's rational. Because there's a whole environment out there of brilliant, genius, young people who are coming up with new ways to transfer value every single day. And I worry that we're going to crush that entrepreneurial spirit and that advancement. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner before you leave. Use the promo code. The Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. This package will only be available for a limited time, so go for it, pick up yours today. With the currency exchange planner on your team, the banks don't have a chance of taking advantage of your newfound wealth. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold back into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad. The dollar I assure you will not. Did you know that the dollar only has 0.0389 cents purchasing power left when compared to its original purchasing power when the dollar first came out? Fiat currencies are based on debt, and are designed to fail over time. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Over and out. The Denarian.